My name is Samuel Clements. And many of you know me as this guy. All over the world, he's considered a great American author and wit. Ah, here's an example. Suppose you were an idiot, and suppose you were a member of Congress. But I repeat myself. My family had to maneuver around Samuel Clemens, not Mark Twain. I should have listened when he said, It is better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to open one's mouth and remove all doubt. In my house, I removed all doubt by being a failed businessman, having a temper, and being known as someone who was against the mistreatment of animals. It is just like man's vanity and impertinence to call an animal dumb because it is dumb to his dull perceptions. My perceptions when young weren't great. I started out a patriot. I thought we should send our young men around the world to educate the savages at the end of a bayonet. By the time I was an old man, I realized the savages were the ones sending our young men out to kill. Always remember, whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it is time to pause and reflect. But I'm guessing you ain't here to listen to Samuel Clemens talk about politics. What you probably want to know is, how did Mark Twain learn to write so gosh tootin' well? I tried to learn from all my experiences in life. A man who carries a cat by the tail learns something he can learn in no other way. Lots of quoting the good book in my day to prove you were educated. It ain't those parts of the Bible that I can't understand that bother me. It's the parts that I do understand. Many folks in my day wondered how I could imagine African Americans as human beings. It is curious that physical courage should be so common in the world and moral courage so rare. Well, I'm probably getting too serious again. Of what am I most proud? Um, steering a riverboat down the Mississippi. Danny Fool can write, but few and far between can captain a riverboat down the Mississippi. I believe even God would have to give that his full and undivided attention. I learned a lot about how to get by in life on that river. To succeed in life, you need two things, ignorance and confidence. I was full of both when young. I also learned. It's good sportsmanship not to pick up lost golf balls while they are still rolling. Now, you might ask, or you might not, what did I think of my novels? My books are like water. Those of the great geniuses are wine. Fortunately, everybody drinks water. <laughs> I did like the attention. I can live for two months on a good compliment. Here's one of my sayings that's still quoted. The difference between the right word and the almost right word is the difference between lightning and a lightning bug. <laughs> Not to brag, but I was lightning just about as often as I was a lightning bug when it came to making money. I put mine into inventions like the page compositor and the stock market. It took me a while to figure out. October. This is one of the peculiarly dangerous months to speculate in stocks. The others are July, January, September, April, November, May, March, June, December, August, and uh, February. But I made it through with the help of a friend, who liked to quote Mark Twain to me. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. When I made it through being bankrupt, I thought I was the biggest dog on the block. And then my daughter died. Broke my heart. Then my beloved Olivia died. 
Mark kept on entertaining to pay the bills. But Samuel Clemens, he lost that fight and slipped into a dark place for a long, long time. I tried to deal with it the best way I knew how. I wrote an honest book about what I really thought of my fellow citizens. But I allowed others to talk me into publishing the book after my death, and my memoir long after that. Part of me wanted to skedaddle before my fellow citizens knew what Mark Twain really thought about them. Let us live so that when we come to die, even the undertaker will be sorry. I am sorry that me and Mark couldn't have been a better man to my wife and daughters, and Huck Finn and Jim, and the occasional jumping frog who crossed my path. Let us make a special effort to stop communicating with each other so we can have some conversation. I'll start. My name is Samuel Clemens. That's who I am. Mark Twain is the person I played in public. Who do you play? Anyway, you want some final advice from a dead fool? Don't part with your illusions. When they are gone, you may still exist, but you have ceased to live. When you have a mind to, join me on that big river boat in the sky. Lastly, I hate to be the one to tell you. The reports of my death have not been greatly exaggerated. Thank you.